Hello and welcome to Badminton Unlimited, your weekly fix of all things badminton. Coming up, we recap the Yonex Swiss Open 2021 with precious Olympic qualification points up for grabs. We also sat down with Leo Rolly Carnando and Daniel Martin as they talked about being the next in line to continue Indonesia's story tradition in men's doubles. Kaya Kevin, Marcus, saya pengen niru niru gaya latihan dia, cara main dia semuanya. The airport is so deserted. Crazy. Never see it like this. Plus, we joined Bronya Somerville in her unique travel experience from Melbourne to Bangkok. After a month's break, the HSBC PWF World Tour was back in action with the staging of the Yonex Swiss Open 2021 in Basel. The most anticipated match on finals day was the clash between the top two seeds, Carolina Marin and Pusala Sindhu in women's singles. However, the Indian playing her first final since the 2019 World Championships fell short in her title quest as Marin proved too strong an opponent. Sindhu kept pace with the world number three until the first interval, but Marin slowly but surely seized control to dominate her rival from then on and seal the 21-12, 21-5 win in just over half an hour. There it is, first time of asking. Carolina Marin has won her first title here in uh, Swiss Open. Actually, yeah, I feel really happy if I have to, to tell you something that uh, from the beginning of the week on Tuesday, when I, when I came here and tried to practice, I, I stopped after five minutes because uh, I thought my solus uh, was broken. So I was really scared. I just told to, to my team that, uh, yeah, we try on Wednesday when I played uh, against uh, Perminova. If it's uh, okay, then we just try to go on during the week. So, yeah, I feel really happy because uh, I could win this final against uh, Sindhu, a top player. And, uh, yeah, I think my performance today was really good. Seeking his fifth title in six final appearances, top seed Victor Axelsson came up against Kunlabut Vitisan in a rematch of the title match in Barcelona over a year ago. The fast improving tie kept the world number two on his toes with some sharp attacks, but the 19-year-old's inability to sustain his aggressiveness was evident in the final scoreline of 21-16, 21-6 in favour of the Dane. Excellent play by uh, Atoll Dane. Good variation. There is uh, the winning point. It's called in. Even though in the first game I struggled to with my game a little bit, and uh, Kunvalu played uh, played nice. Um, but if I stay in it and uh, try to uh, to make it physically uh, hard in there, you know, uh, I can win a lot of points. You know, obviously all England is the biggest goal of mine. You know within the next few weeks here, so uh, physically I haven't felt uh, 120%, but uh, it was enough to win, and I'm really happy about that. Denmark also celebrated victory in men's doubles, with Kim Astrup and Anders Scarrett Rasmussen securing their first HSBC BWF world title of the season. The duo shook off their recent disappointments in Thailand to capture their biggest crown since the Barcelona Spain Masters in January 2020. The Danes outgunned Germany's Mark Lambsfus, Marvin Seidel, 21-16, 21-11. Now they've done it again. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting us to, to win this big in the semi and the, and the final. We have a lot of respect for those guys, but that just shows that our highest level is uh, really uh, perhaps even higher than we, 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 we believe ourselves sometimes. In an all-European mixed doubles final, sixth seeds Tom Jekyll and Delphine Delru took on Matthias Christensen and Alexandra Bohe. The Danes displayed unflinching confidence early in the match that saw them brush aside the first and third seeds. I think uh, the break we 
We told each other that we have to uh, do something uh, on the first three shot uh, to take initiative and uh, to put pressure on them. And uh, we believe that we can come back and uh, we play really good after a And we know that we cannot play uh, as, bad, bad, uh, as bad as we did. As we did uh. A late surge at the end of both games helped the French combination inch ahead 21-19, 21-19 for their first World Tour title. It also made them the first mixed pair from France to win the competition in 63 years. Over in women's doubles, World Tour final debutants Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitaran showed immense composure in winning the first game by a slim 21-19 scoreline, despite holding a comfortable eight-point lead at the interval. Not to say that we're confident to win, but we give each other a lot of confidence and communicate a lot. The more experienced Gabrielle and Stefani Stoeva, who were contesting their third Swiss Open final, kept pace with the Malaysians in the next game, but lost the plot after the break to fall by a disappointing score of 12-21. Gabriela intercepts, she's going to block it. Excellent play. It's the defense from Martina that sets this up. And there it is. Amazing performance in the final. After nearly a year of enforced break from the HSBC BWF World Tour, Gronje Somerville returned to a new experience, not just in the tournament setup but also in her travel adventure. We follow this Australian ace as she journeys from her home in Melbourne to Bangkok, Thailand. The airport is so deserted. Crazy, never see it like this. But hopefully no lines. No lines. Hi guys, I'm Gronya Somerville, Australian women's doubles badminton player, and I will be showing you my travel from Melbourne, Australia to Bangkok, Thailand for the Yonex Thailand Open and Toyota Thailand Open taking place in January in Bangkok. So right now I am at the Melbourne airport. I have checked through and I'm heading to my gate. And the check-in process was semi-smooth. I didn't have some things printed that I needed, um, like a hotel confirmation and COVID insurance confirmation. But I got those kind of ticked off through showing different emails. And now I'm just going to head to the gate and chill before my flight, which obviously won't be very busy as the whole airport hardly has anybody around, which is nice because there's no queues for once. <laughs> I always fill up my water bottle before I fly so that I don't get thirsty if we're stuck on the tarmac or something for takeoff. And then I'll ask the hostess during the flight to top it up all the time. So my flight is via Singapore where I have a super long layover. I get in at like 5.30 a.m. and depart I think at like 3 p.m. So over like nearly 10 hours there. And my double partner Sediana is flying from Sydney so we'll meet up at Singapore Airport and then we'll fly to Thailand together. It's been such a long year in 2020 of just training without much motivation, without much tournaments, without many things to be able to measure yourself and see your progress. So it's really nice to have um, tournaments back happening again. And the fact that these are both 1000s as well is really good points. Even though it doesn't contribute to the Olympic ranking points, it's really good world ranking points. Airlines care kit. Now boarding, just past midnight. You wish to follow the progress of the flight, you may choose to do so via the flight in the system. At the moment, uh, all the doors are closed, just waiting for our perspective. And once you have that, it should be underway very shortly. 
In the meantime, I'd like to invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Thank you. Refer to the safety card located in the seat pocket in front of you for more information. On behalf of Singapore Airlines, we hope you have a great time on board as well as in Singapore or anywhere else in the world we take you. So since I got to the airport here in Singapore, I did some stretching for my back and hips because they were quite tight. And I walked for over an hour and just up and down the airport is actually really far. So I don't think people thought I was a weirdo passing the heap of times because it was like, it takes you a while to get to one end and then back to the other. Just looking at the shops that weren't really open at 6 a.m. when I was doing it. And then um, yeah, shops have gradually started to open. So I might go for another walk and see if there's any Good shops open at Lara. Probably won't get anything because my suitcase is so full. But just enjoy looking around. Okay, so I didn't think I was gonna buy anything, but I like these pants. Because I hate wearing skinny jeans and these will keep me warm in winter, but aren't trackies. A bit more socially acceptable than trackies. <laughs> and they go well with crop tops. I'm gonna go check out the men's stuff upstairs in Zara. <laughs> My boyfriend is the same size as me, so when I buy him shirts, I try them on to see how they fit. <laughs> so I'm just chilling in the guy section trying on shirts. All right, so I have decided to do a workout and this is what I've just written up. So I'm gonna do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest for blocks and each one goes for five minutes. So one exercise takes one minute and there's five exercises in each block. Let's try and do it. See how many random looks we get. Oh well, never gonna see these people again, probably. All right, so I'm just setting up an interval timer here. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Usually I do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, but making this one a bit more chill and hopefully not as sweaty and out of breath because I'm gonna try to keep my mask on as well. <laughs> So workout done, a little bit sweaty, definitely struggle breathing in the mask. It was like going in and out when I was, my heart rate got up. It was 20 minutes, 115 calories, heart rate range of up to 159 beats per minute. So not bad, probably on the jumping ones. And I feel good, happy. Probably gonna go for a walk now and try and find some lunch and double check my gate number. So 
So we made it to the hotel last night after a pretty long trip of travel from Melbourne to Singapore to Bangkok. Thanks for watching my travel vlog coming along on this trip. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope we can all enjoy some high level badminton again. Bye. We'll go for a quick breather, but stay with us as Indonesia's next big thing in men's doubles, Leo Rolly Carnando and Daniel Martin reveal some secrets. Halo, nama saya Daniel. Umur saya 19 tahun. Tahun ini 20. Asal saya dari Jakarta. Halo, nama saya Lero Ricardo, berasal dari Surakarta. Tahun ini saya 20 tahun. Klub Klub awal ini saya dari PB Jarum. <laughs> Young guns Leo Rolly Carnando and Daniel Martin are Indonesia's latest rollout from their illustrious men's double setup. A successful campaign at the Asian leg that included a semi final finish at the Yonex Thailand Open has got fans of the red and white excited to see what's more in store from the 2019 World Junior Champions. Let's get up close with the budding stars. Waktu saya mulai bulu tangkis, ngikut kakak saya badminton. Sebis itu, lama-lama saya juga jadi suka main badminton. Papa sama papa juga mencita-citakan anaknya jadi pemain badminton bisa menjadi, ya mungkin bisa seperti yang yang udah sukses-sukses lah. Dulu saya mulai awal badminton diajak papa main bulu tangkis. Dari kecil aja udah sering nonton pemain-pemain dunia kayak contoh. Uh, Hendra sama Hasan yang lain-lainnya jadi puji Tuhan saya masuk pelatnas jadi papa mama bisa bangga saya nggak nggak terlalu pengen sama yang luar-luar itu ya yang di luar badminton saya mau fokus dulu di badminton sampai saya pensiun mungkin nanti kan kalau udah pensiun kan kalau sukses di badminton bisa enak juga hidupnya waktu di hari tua. Saya ingin menghasilkan uang dari jari payah saya sendiri untuk bisa membahagiakan orang tua saya, untuk keluarga saya, jadi untuk saya sendiri juga, untuk keluarga dan anak-anak saya juga ke, de ke, ke depannya. Jadi saya harus fokus di badminton biar bisa hidup hari tuanya enak. Dulu saya baru pas uh, masuk jarum 2015, saya se sebelumnya bukan partner dia, jadi ada partner dari orang kudus. Dicoba dengan Leo, ternyata lebih cocok, jadi uh, mulai dari situ udah juara-juara, jadi jadi bagus. Pertama kali ya uh, seneng banget, terus habis itu juga soalnya main, sama mainnya tuh nyambung gitu. Sampai, sampai sekarang gitu, jadi... Uh, Kemistrinya dapat lah, apa lebih lebih tahu karakter mau gimana gimananya, tahu karakternya nggak mau kalah, terus optimis, terus apa lagi ya? Banyak lah, pokoknya uh, banyak banyak yang nggak bisa diomongin lah. Sama aja. <laughs> Kalau di junior targetnya yang paling tinggi kan itu jadi uh, tahun sebelumnya kan 2018 kita gagal uh, merebut medali jadi saya punya tekad buat 2019 bisa jadi juara jadi sudah tercapai jadi kita bangga. Ganda Putra Junior nggak ada yang juara lagi setelah berapa tahun itu akhirnya 2019 bisa mecahin rekor itu saya sama Daniel bisa juara. Bangga banget lah. Before we learn more about their fledgling careers, let's check out how Carnando and Martin fare with our personality test. Daniel. 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 Lagu ini saya Oh, ini saya ya. Oke, apa-apa. Ini 
Leo. <laughs> Masa? Udah tidur terlalu uh, ngorok terus. <laughs> Berisik. <laughs> Daniel. Leo. Daniel. Saya nggak pernah nangis. Nangis Kalo terus nangis ya? Bioskop. Habis main nangis juga nonton bioskop. Agak. <laughs> Uh, saya paling <laughs> saya sering lupa naro handphone oh jadi, iya orangnya pelupa dia Bener. jadi kada <laughs> sudah udah rata sekali nih apalagi kalau lagi mandi sering lupa ambil handphone balik <laughs> sky diving uh, saya tidak tidak <laughs> Let's get back to our conversation with Carnando and Martin as they tell us how they're coping with the shift from the junior to elite level. Di Akita Master di Jepang, ya kita di situ hanya mampu finish di delapan besar saja, kalah dari pasangan Cina. Jadi kita dari situ udah. Harus berbenah kan, soalnya persaingan senior dengan junior beda. Bedanya sangat jauh ya, apa kualitas bola, terus habis itu tenaga, fisik, sama pikiran itu kalau di senior harus bener-bener diadu fokusnya semuanya. Jadi kalau di junior kan kadang main cuma 30 menit, semuanya belum keluar kan. Kalau di senior pas set pertama sampai set kedua itu, apalagi kalau rubber set kan, itu bisa satu jam lebih kadang itu benar-benar kekuras jadi bedanya jauh jauh sekali kita kan masuk semifinal kita nggak nyangka ya karena kan dari awal udah ketemu teman sendiri dari pertama ketemu Bagas Fikri dan kedua ketemu Fajarian apapun yang terjadi kan di lapangan bisa terjadi kan jadi kita buat uh, coba fighting dulu aja jadi Delapan besar juga kita lawan pasangan Inggris, dia juga cukup senior, cukup bagus juga, jadi kita main nekat, eh ternyata bisa menang, jadi kan kita agak ada kebanggaan tersendiri lah, jadi walaupun di semifinal kalah, tapi kita coba pelajari kekalahan itu buat kedepannya bisa jadi lebih baik. Bisa ketemu sama senior-senior tuh uh, mahal banget lah, apalagi ketemunya kayak Gowi Semtan Wekyong, Pajarian, ketemu Elis, ketemu Fikri, itu kan senior-senior kita semua terus habis itu uh, cara mainnya itu harus diperlajarin lah kok ya dulu kan apa saya cuma bisa ngeliat uh, Hendra, Hasan dari TV saja dulu kan uh, uh, bisa juga lihat dari Istora juga paling kan jadi sekarang bisa latihan bareng, bisa pertanding super seribu bareng, jadi kan ini pengalaman yang bagus buat saya. Latihannya juga semua bareng kan, uh, jadi saya harus harus belajar dari senior-senior yang ada di Platnas itu. Pokoknya tradisi ganda putra jangan sampai keputus lah. Uh, jadi yang kayak saya junior-juniornya itu harus lebih semangat lagi, terus habis itu bisa nyodok ranking ke top atas lah. Kita berdua harus maksimal dalam latihan walaupun maupun pertandingan. Jadi kita nggak boleh lengah walaupun kita di sini sudah semifinal, tapi kan jalan masih panjang. Jadi kita banyak yang harus dipelajari dari senior-senior juga biar bisa nerusin yang senior-senior. Saya pengen jadi juara Olimpiade seperti. Uh, Hendra, Asan, semuanya kayak Kevin, Markus. Saya pengen niru niru gaya latihan dia, cara main dia, semuanya uh, pengen niru attitude dia. Jadi saya harus belajar lah pokoknya. Ambisi saya sih bisa merebut uh, juara di big turnamen ya kayak seperti Olimpiade, Asian Games kejuaraan dunia untuk mencapai itu kan kita harus bekerja keras dan berdoa jadi saya coba untuk lakukan ini.
We've come to the end of today's show. Next week, defending All England Open champions, Praveen Jordan and Malati Deva Octavianti reflect on their momentous win. Plus, Selena Piet puts her partner, Robin Tabling, on the spot. Name, name a good song, I'll, I'll sing it for it. Man in the Mirror. <laughs> Meanwhile, do visit BWF's official website, bwfbabbington.com, for the latest in the sport. It's bye bye for now. We'll see you soon. <laughs>